guys so i thought i would run you through another grocery haul um this week is a bit of a crazy week and it's not too much of a bigger haul but look up by looking at it there's about six meals here so i'll run you through what meals we have got i've got we're going to do some rissoles with some potato salad um the two days that i work i'm going to be just doing egg on toast or something like that something really quick and easy or baked beans on toast or so they're nice and easy um, I've got a boneless chicken with some roast vegetables. We're going to do a shepherd's pie and a spaghetti bolognese. So there's one meal off because I'm not quite sure what I am doing. I have my nan arriving this week from the UK. So she's going to be here for Christmas, which is super exciting. So I may be at my parents' house or we may be at my parents' house for one of those meals. So I've only got six meals and possibly the egg on toast might be like I said baked beans on toast or just something from the freezer something really quick uh, I just put egg on toast to remind myself it's just something quick and easy so I'll run you through quickly what we've got this is what we've got here so starting up the back I've got um, the maxi eyes like we normally get Hazel's in the background watching <laughs> I think it's Angelina Ballerina it's like her absolute favorite at the moment but anyway back to what I was saying um I've got the maxi ices there they were like a dollar fifty so I picked up three of those I've got two Rexonas these are Michaels they were on special for five dollars so if they're on special I tend to pick up uh, two lots just so we have a backup I've got some milk from Audi. Again, I forgot to mention this is all going to be Audi and Woolworths. Majority of this was actually Audi unless I've specified there was something on special at Woolworths. So I've got some tuna there and then mayonnaise. I normally get the Hellman's mayonnaise from Woolworths. This is actually a Coles mayonnaise. Sorry, this is actually an Audi mayonnaise. It's a whole egg mayonnaise, but I haven't tried it. So I'm hoping it's nice because it's actually quite cheap. So hopefully that's pretty good. Normally the stuff from Audi is pretty good. So I've got that to try. I've got normal butter and then cooking cooking butter i've got a couple of packet passes hazel loves these so i've got a couple of those i just picked up a delicates bag it's just to put your delicates in when you are doing washing my zip broke on mine some cheese sticks for hazel these are awesome these are from audi they're um, completely boneless chicken that's been um, butterflied and it has some really good spices this one is greek style so it is lemon or um, oregano and garlic, which is really nice. We've had this before. So that's really good in the oven. So I'm going to do that with some roast vegetables. Some small tins of baked beans, some long life milk, a massive thing of coffee. I don't drink coffee. This is actually from Michael. We don't normally buy these ones. This is huge. Like this thing is massive, but they're on special. It was like $24 down to, I think, $16 at Woolworths. So if I can, I pick up the big one because then it saves us. I think the small, small, small jars, um, are, which are about probably this size, are $10. So yeah, pretty good buy there. So I picked that up. I've got some diced tomatoes for the spaghetti bolognese. I have some pasta sauce. This is just a uh, pantry restocker because we're running low. So I just grabbed that. I've got some minced garlic. Again, pantry stocker. This is vanilla extract. That one is from Audi. Um, some rissoles from... Woolworths, these ones are really good. These are country style and they taste amazing. So I picked those up. Some bacon. Uh, at the back, I've got rice bubbles for Hazel. I've got some sliced mushrooms and some eggs. And that was the pasta salad as well from Audi, which we're going to have with the rissoles. Kind of like a barbecue. I may even actually cook those on the barbecue. Um, over the other side, I've got some ravioli just as backup for Hazel because um, our one, I don't remember what happened to our one that <laughs> we had in the fridge. Um, We've got two mint, beef mints. One is for the shepherd's pie. One is for the spaghetti bolognese. I've got a cucumber, some bananas, some watermelon. Um, Michael loves watermelon. I've not really bought it for Hazel, so I'm going to see if she likes it. She's not too keen. She loves grapes, but um, I haven't tried her on watermelon. If she does like it, that'd be awesome because she can have some with lunch. So I've got her that, so I'll let you know how she goes with it. I've got a sweet potato just to roast. I've got some potatoes to do with the roast. Uh, just a brown onion. I got some bread and then I picked up some makeup. I don't normally buy makeup and it's not normally in my grocery hauls. I very rarely buy makeup because um, I very rarely wear it when I'm at home. If I'm going out, I wear it all the time. But generally, if I'm just at home, I don't wear it. But anyway, I, um, I picked up some stuff because it was on special at Big W for 40% off. So this is my foundation I buy. It is Revlon Colorstay. Um, this is not, this is a combination in Ollie Skin, which I normally buy. But this is not the shade I buy. I was really peeved off, I guess, because they're on special. They had very little colors. The color I normally get is 1UP, which is 220, and I think it's like natural beige or something. Coming into summer, I normally go the 1UP from my normal one, which um, 
again that they didn't have so two shades up from my normal was far too dark and i would just look like a big orange um so i've gone one shade lighter and hoping that i can just sort of darken it with some bronzer and stuff but ideally i would have loved to have grabbed my normal shade or the one above because yes coming in summer i normally get the the darker color um, but the one up from that was far too dark so i've gone lighter which sucks but i'm hoping i can work with that um it was 40 percent off i also grabbed some mascara because my mascara is dead i noticed as well this is my favorite one but they've actually brought out a this brand so the colossal volume but it's like a smoky eye so it's like a really cool smoky effect um color rather than jet black which i thought was cool but um i thought because i rarely buy makeup i thought i'd stick to what i normally get and then the other thing is my eyeliner is completely dead so i picked up this one i've not tried it before it's a super liner by who is this by i should know i think it was like l'oreal why does it not say or am i just being blind this l'oreal i'm pretty sure it was l'oreal why does it not say <laughs> anyway it's basically just a pencil liner um and i can't get it off but anyway it's a pencil liner um which i really loved and it was really easy to apply i did a tester on my hand um which i thought was really cool so i picked that up i think that ended up being like six dollars that was like maybe 10 and i think that was down to like I don't know, like I want to say 20. Um, but yeah, that's it. I probably spent $200 all up with the makeup. So pretty much on budget. We try and aim for $200 a week. It was probably a, obviously a cheaper shop so that I could get the makeup. But it would have been a really cheap shop without the makeup. So that is my haul. I hope you liked it. I am trying to get a few more videos up. Let's see how I go with editing with Clara and my crazy life. I'm back at work, as you know, so it's been a bit hectic. But Anyway, please give this a thumbs up if you liked the grocery haul and you want to see more grocery hauls. And if you want to see any recipes, I don't think there's anything really recipe worthy this week. But um, yeah, let me know. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye. Lisa is also getting some pajamas. These ones are Cinderella pajamas. So she's got those. I've also got some...